speed on this machine is 60 strokes a minute with a stroke length of 220 millimeters it gives me a cutting speed of more than 20 meters per minute for the imperial friends of mine uh, I'm gonna let you calculate a bit uh, uh, you will figure it out now for some applications for example the shear tool or for slotting the speed is way too high I prefer work somewhere between 10 and 15 meters a minute for the shear tool let's put it back now uh, it could be possible to make a system with pulleys and belts to lower down the cutting speed the number of strokes a minute lower down to let's say 30 strokes a minute will give me a cutting speed of about 10 meters a minute but I think it's way easier to use one of these this is one of the cheapest frequency drives I could find on Amazon so my idea is to install this one on the electric motor of the shaper so we can change the cutting speed electrically and not mechanically will be much easier now the idea is of course to install this frequency drive here somewhere uh, I'm gonna mount it on a piece of board because this is not a brick wall it's a stone wall and uh, it's a bit uh, crooked there's nothing straight at it I found myself one piece of one phase cable that I can plug in right here I have three phase cable to plug in my shaper now the fun trick is with these cables uh, you can get electrocuted three times for the price of one That's, uh, I have this uh, plug system here laying around since uh, at least uh, half an hour just bought it uh, so I can plug in my shaper with this uh, 5 pin plug I can choose plug in frequency drive or plug in here in the direct drive that's the idea now what's handy if I'm using a piece of board of course I'm gonna clean it up a bit is that I can work sitting down install all my stuff on this board this cable goes in here and then of course enter this box I'm gonna cut a piece off then I have this uh, 220 volt plug I'm gonna put in here and when all this is finished and nice and clean I'm gonna drill the holes in the wall and fix it it will be way easier to work than work against a wall that's not straight Now, for those who maybe uh, don't really like woodworking, uh, please don't panic, it's not real wood. As you can see, it's this uh, cheap uh, compressed oat, what normally they give to the horses, and they also make boards out of it.
In these days normally we use these uh, little pins that slide over the wire but I'm a bit old school and I don't have these little pins so I solder it as good for years and years soldering was a very good system and for now you will see it will work now because this is uh, 3 times 220 volt we use the only the three phases we do not use the neutral and of course the ground wire very important never forget the ground wire These Chinese systems, I don't understand why they make just these little slots. This system, European system, way easier. This is a really not good top. To connect these wires the way it uh, should be now it's really well explained on this sheet of paper so no problem but what I don't understand is that there's no way to fix the wires I don't understand how this uh, system passed the European standards because I had to put some tie rips here to hold it a little bit in place it's uh, absolutely sketchy but I suppose that's for the price we pay we don't have much now before I'm gonna fix it to the wall first let's give it a try with the multimeter all right here goes nothing seems to turn on that's always a good sign so normally now here we have zero yes zero that's good I can see when I turn the button frequencies changing let's push run so now here I must have 220 something wrong here this multimeter is giving me a too high voltage and it's on 750 AC and it should give me 220 AC I think I found the problem I plug my shaper in the system I turn it on I plug it in up here of course and it works so it means it's my multimeter that dies maybe it's time to buy a new one because this one is a museum piece about it was a very cheap shit you know I think I'm gonna buy a better one and this one recycling park
this stone is really hard. So I think I'm gonna need a better machine. Alright, let's give it a try. The motor spins and in the right direction I checked of course. Let's slow down. Twenty five hertz. It seems to work, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a piece of metal on here and put the slotting tool in and see what happens. I'm gonna have to change my setup because this uh, dovetail is uh, touching the bolt. Now, luckily, I didn't break anything because it was uh, really slowly, slowly. So, I'm gonna take it off again and put it in a vise. All system is uh, set up to make the first cut with the speed control system. And to do that, of course, I put on my safety glasses. This looks good. Start at 50 hertz. We're gonna do that again at way slower speed. About 25 hertz, so it should be half of the speed, yeah? machine is not happy with it.
I think this machine really is too small to make these long and heavy cuts. I'm gonna try shorter cuts. So I think installing this uh, frequency uh, regulator thing, it was a good idea. In fact, it was a fun project to do, not too difficult. So well, I, I think it's all benefit. Of course, now I have to learn a bit how to, how to use it, how to work with it, eh? get used to the frequencies and then all these uh, things. But that will be okay. So I hope you found it interesting. I've seen other YouTubers uh, installing this kind of things on their machines and I thought for myself, but why not? 